I'm Mr. Poller. In this video, I am going to be walking you through the experiment called Mouse Hunter. The paper represents the environment, the habitat where the prey live. So the dots represent a prey organism like a rock pocket mouse. We're also going to have a predator, a hawk or an owl, a snake. All of these predators are visual predators. That means that they locate their prey with good eyesight. When they see something that looks good, they try to eat it. So you're going to simulate that process of hunting for prey. We will test the survival time of the dots on three different environments. The procedure says we're picking a group member to be the predator. I am going to do that because there's nobody else here right now. Next, let's set up our first environment. The black paper represents volcanic rock. Now I'm going to place the 10 dots onto my black field. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In your group, you should have somebody else do this so that your predator does not know where the dots are. The way that I'm going to hunt is to get my finger a little bit damp so that I can see one of the dots and when I touch it, I can lift it off of the field. That would represent a mouse that I just ate for lunch. What we're measuring is the amount of time it takes for me to remove all of the dots from the paper field. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my goggles. Ready, set, go. <laughs> this is a tricky one. And done, okay. So that was the completion of my first trial. Now I'm going to repeat the same process using the other fields. Ready, set, go. So that was my second trial. Now my final trial is going to be the test on this paper. And 10, okay. Scuffle vision, spin, make sure that's a good spot there. And ready, set, go. Oh man, I think there's one there. <laughs> okay, I think I got them all now. All right. Thought I was done, but I lost count. I had only nine and there was one left. What we do next in class is we'll gather up all the data from all the groups of hunters who are completing this task. So we'll get a report of how long it took everybody to complete the hunting on the tan field, representing sandy ground. How long did it take on the black field, representing that volcanic rock, and how long it took on the white field. Now this could represent winter time when there might actually be snow that's fallen. In terms of experimental design, the white field is what we call a negative control. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you just completed your experiment and are ready to analyze data, you should check out this video right here.